Hey guys, Sony Soy Sass Sass and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review where today we'll be challenging a cigar's ranking. Yep. So today's cigar is Christophe Tres Compadres. Tres Compadres. Yeah. So um, let's take a quick look at the cigar. Uh, the cigar is a Nicaraguan wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan uh, filler, uh, Pudo. All right, six and a quarter by 54, a Toro size cigar. MSRP is $10.50. And as you can see, this wrapper is rough. It, it looks B. It looks like, I don't know. It doesn't look like a nicely treated cigar for some reason. And I have two of these, or one of those that I go to uh, smoke one if you have one. And that one looks exactly the same, beat up. So being a cigar, that's number three on the top 25. How does this thing get there? All right? MSRP $10.50. So, you know, it's not crazy expensive or anything like that. Uh, I'm pretty sure the review wouldn't have trouble get to that price but what we really need to think is how does it get to number three on the top 25 it makes no sense the band i should say chucky my friend Majo. i don't know three guys so three guys three companion whatever that is all right so only what you find out is to smoke the cigar right all right Oh. Smells very floral. A very floral smell. Almost rose. Almost smell like rose. Or lily. It's weird. Hmm. All right. Ugh, it's crispy. Now, this is definitely not under humidifier. You can see I can press it. It's not cracking or anything. But when I try to cut the top, it actually sounds very crispy. Cold draw. Earthy, leathery, and floral. Draw is okay. Just. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> mm, wow. Mm. Oh my god. Let's get started. Alright. Number one thing I find out is that is missing a chunk of tobacco. Yeah, if I. Missing a little bit of tobacco. So we we'll roll it. You owe me some tobacco. Yeah. It's missing tobacco. I'm not kidding. It's missing tobacco. A lot of tobacco. All right? Mmm. Now I said number three, it could be number four, but I remember the top five. So um, just take that as perspective. Like, 
I don't remember exactly. I remember it's probably number three. Because number two was um, tobacco nut, and number three was this. Maybe. I think that's what it is. But just think of it as like how this thing gets to top five, okay? Hmm, this thing misses a lot of tobacco. Whoever gave me this a cigar, right? come on. All the way, the whole spike has no tobacco. This whole, all right, it's like, I can put a whole spike in there, there's no tobacco. No tobacco. What the hell? Okay. I want to say it tastes kind of like cocoa and woodsy. A little bit of earthiness. But there's not a lot. And I don't blame them. There's not. No tobacco. So no filler. Somebody forgot to put a filler in there. A little bit of woodsiness, a little bit of creaminess, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'm gonna... I have to smoke through that empty spot before I can tell you anything. Because there's no tobacco in that little bit. So let me smoke through the first there. I wanna see how it actually tastes like because I'm pretty sure that's not what's intended. I just happened to get a bad cigar. Be right back. All right, I'm done with first third. Very underwhelming. Mile strength. A little bit of coffee, would you know? A little bit of creaminess. A little bit of sweetness and floral. That's pretty much it. Very mild. And it could be because it's, it's like there's not enough of tobacco filling in there. Let me just tap it down a little bit. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. First there wasn't wasn't that good. So, I mean, just a second there. Hopefully this, uh, the, the strength and maybe the, 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 the taste goes up a little bit. Once it goes up a little bit, maybe it'll taste better. So, I'll see you at the band. All right, I'm done with second there. It's a disappointing cigar. I don't understand why people like it. Barely has uh, any any flavor. Um, strength's mild, very mild. The band, it looks pretty good though. The band looks pretty good. I'll give you that. The band looks pretty good. Okay. The color I like, matte and shiny combination. I like that. Pretty good. But the flavor is just not there. Yeah, like you get a little bit of toasted nuts. You get a little bit of maybe like a cocoa coffee taste. You get woodsiness. Just a tad like that much pepper and floral. At the end note might have a little bit of mineral earthiness. And that's pretty much it. And it's so light. It's so light. It's so light. At the end of the second though, it kind of went up just a little bit. But it only went to a point of like an average cigar. So I am very, very, very surprised this can be somewhere there. Unless it's because the price range was easier to purchase or whatnot. The back of the band, by the way. It says, in loving memory of my dear friend Chuck Finch. Friend and mentor Rolando... Bella Mill, the Tris Compress. Uh, yeah. Compatris. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm on a last turn now. I'm not really expecting a lot to change, but we'll see if it does. But as of now, I'm still like, how? How other than a lot of people can afford 
uh, this price range and decide to vote for this cigar uh, from that. But I, I, I don't see why this is up there. There's, on that list of 25, there's so many cigars that beats this any day. I just don't know how this ended up on top. All right. So yeah, let me finish last stir and we'll see where that goes because it was disappointing enough where I want to smoke another cigar after this. Yeah. So I'll be right back. All right. So last stir. Surprisingly, unlike normal cigars, because the first two third are so light, the last third actually is more flavorful than the first third and the second third. So the flavor has ramped up just a little bit. Yep, that toasted nut, that um, almost like a dry wood. And then we have a little bit of coffee, cocoa-ish thing going on. And pepper went back down for the last stir. But still not enough to justify to be top five on any cigar list. Okay? So it makes no sense to me. For me, this being this mile of a strain and you know, as I, being a cigar with only the last stir you can enjoy, I'm going to set this cigar around $8, $8.50, maybe $8.99-ish range. Definitely not the 10 something. That's all I can give. This there's, there's not much to it. It's not it's a standard cigar. It's a it's a basic cigar. It's not it's not a award winning cigar per se. It's not I don't think it even targets that. So I don't even know how that get there. But other than the meaning behind it, but the meaning behind it, uh basically he's they're making the cigar in memory of two other friends. Um but if you're not related to the person, you don't really have that relationship to understand or feel that this is the cigar. Uh, maybe they have something to do with liking this particular blend, but for normal people, that's pretty light. That's there's not much going on. So I I would not recommend it. I don't even know how to recommend this cigar. It's so light. So light. So yeah, I might not like it, but some beginners might like it. Um no, I think anywhere, if you smoke a cigar anywhere between two to five years, you probably think that cigar is too light too. Right? Unfortunately, that's the way it is. So that's where we ended. Yeah, don't bite that. Anyways, that will be it for the cigar review. I hope you like it. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, uh, comment, and you know, why do I always stutter over here? You know, share. Uh, you know, we have swag, we have membership, we have podcasts. Go check them out. I'll see you guys next one. Bye, guys. Nice.